Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jinto. Let's go. Our last two fights have been ridiculous. And look at this. As soon as we got used to the ground game, nah, that's not gonna happen. This fight, this dude has a hundred ground game. Can't remember if we already maxed out our abilities, did we? Yeah, nah, we can get one more ability. I don't think I've actually showed you guys my abilities. I went with the standard vicious kicks, obviously, because we throw a lot of kicks. Then there's heavy handed because we also throw punches. Same with fluidity. And in case we want to start spamming, we get a little hype. That's the bailout right there. And last but not least, we got marathoner. You run around, move around, your stamina moves up a little bit faster. But for the fifth one, um, not really sure. You know, I think this one, Infinite Core, is something that we actually just blew off because we didn't really have a ground game with Marcus Gento. But that's something I'm looking forward to. And I guess we just can't do anything with the ground. Oh, I'm really worried about this guy's ground ability. It's at 100. This dude is going to kill us. So I'm thinking about this. Uh, I don't know, maybe this. That way, when we move, and then when we stand still, it moves up quick. Hey man, it's Cole Miller. I hear you got a big fight coming up. Time to get down and dirty in training camp. No distractions. Good luck. Wow. 239 evolution points? I will take it. My gut is saying improve your submission. Ah, yeah. I'm going with my gut on that one. Just in case we're in a screwed up position like that. <laughs> Uh, I guess endurance. Nah, I can't even get that. And we can't get takedown defense. What can we get? Clinch throws. Why not? That Vitor Belfort fight, man, I tell you what. I had gotten to the point in my career where I was so obsessed with kickboxing and wrestling. I hadn't done jujitsu in a long time. I was starting to neglect it and he made me pay i took him down we, neither one of us was sweating and he had a nice dry arm to spin and do an arm bar round oh, he's got it he has got it right here Vitor Belfort looking to finish his fight Jones trying to pop and i just you know I, everything i had everything within me was just like it's over all this hard work the mountain sprints, the swim practice, the nutrition, the sacrificing, and here I am getting ready to drop the ball. Can he get it? He might break that arm, Mike. He might break that arm. I made up my mind to just say, screw that. I am not going to give this to you. I'm not going to tap on my dreams. It's a little high now. I think he's out. He's out. He's out. Wow. Even after the fight, you know, he, he came up to me and my manager and he was like, why didn't you tap? You know, I just couldn't, man. It was one of those moments, you know, just, he will never understand. You know, he did everything right. You know, I just, I just refused to lose. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting in Miami, Florida, USA, the great. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 32 wins. 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting in Lake Forest, California, USA, King, the Juggernaut, Alan And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. You ready? You ready? All right, let's do this. Let's avoid the ground game. Yeah, back up, back it up. Ba what are you doing? Get out of our comfort zone. So I got to get those kicks ready. And, I oh, whoa. What are we doing? Ah, he's got some reach on him. Nice kick to the head. 
If he goes for the takedown, I'm gonna hit him with a mean up, and that should be all she wrote. Yeah, let him burn himself out. I'm gonna keep working that body. I don't know why. This dude has. There it is. I knew it was gonna happen. I was just wondering where. Ah. Oh, can we push him off? Nah, not with that wonder ground game. Ah, oh, nah, man. Ah, that sucks. Oh, what is he doing? What? What is this? Oh, man, what the heck type of submission move is this? Oh, get out of that. Oh, get real. What the heck? Oh, look at this. We're back in that side control. Oh, man, if this dude taps. No, if he gives up right here. He set himself. Oh, man, he set himself up for failure right there. I am high. No, 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 no. Get back inside control. No, one more. Ah, one more. Come on, let's put this away. He has a 100 ground game, but he ain't ready for that. He ain't ready for that. Let's go. Let's go. He ain't ready for the side control. Wow. Oh, my gosh. 100. You can have a 1,000 ground game, but that side control is just too deadly. Oh my gosh. Holy. We were this close to tapping out. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 23 seconds of the very first round. Oh man. Declaring the winner. By TKO, the great, the great winner by TKO. Oh my gosh, I am hyped now. I am seriously hyped. Wow. Getting a win on the ground against a killer ground specialist? Oh my god. I'm surprised Eve Levine let that happen wow wow this is michael mayday mcdonald i just wanted to say i saw your fight awesome job and i can't wait for the next one hey bro this is carlos you did really good tonight keep up the good work hey this is matt hughes uh ufc hall of fame congrats on your win it was an exciting fight Wow. It's the fact that he put himself in a messed up situation. Wow. He did that to himself. Holy crap, the bailout is too deadly. Oh my gosh. Take down the fence. I'm definitely getting that up. I'm going to try to max out our submission just in case something like that happens. I mean, it was pretty deadly that we had that 100 joint submission defense because we would have been done. As always, I want to thank you guys for the craziest support ever. If you enjoyed this episode and you're ready for the next one right away, be sure to slap that like button for your boy Gento. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Gento. Man, I'm still feeling beat from the last fight. Oh my gosh. What is this? Damien Mar Maya is a tough customer, no doubt. He's above you in the rankings too. However, if you if you've